Hi, Days fans. It's Thursday, March 11th, and I love JB a little bit more than I did a couple hours ago because my husband's so awesome. First of all, he came home from work early, and that in of itself, I was like, rock on. I love it when JB comes home early. It's like a little slice of heaven, and he's like, I got a present for you, and I thought maybe that was my present, but you were home early because that, that was really exciting, but, but JB got me this. It's an iPhone. It's pink. Well, I got one, too, so... I know, but I'm so excited. And I'm never going to put it so down. So we're totally geeked out now. But you know what? Um, you gotta, you got to say thanks to Days because they all switched over to iPhones yeah. from those ginormous old cell phones, I which I want one of those. I'm going to get one of those things. Yeah. Too. If anybody on Days has one of those laying around in the cast room or anything, um, the prop room... Please. There's nothing else I want from that set except one of those phones. And when we go on the set tour, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to inquire. Oh, I thought you were going to say you were going to steal one. I'm like, well, that's quite a way to get not on the set no, tour. No, no, no. I'm not going to steal. I just want you to know that if we ever meet you at a fan event, I'm going to have this in my hand. Because I have not put it down <laughs> since I got it a couple hours ago. And I plan to never put it down. We ever. even... Okay, so these things save the day today. Oh, yeah! So there's like these crazy... I don't know what that was. <laughs> there was this crazy windstorm here. Yeah, and tornado our warning. And our show got interrupted Twice. By, by the news of, you know, I mean, the nerve of them. And then... Just duck and cover and get on with so it. So we had no way to watch the last, like, five minutes of the show. Five of the most important yeah, minutes. Yeah, we missed I the think. beginning, too. And we never figured that out. But we... And then we go to YouTube, and it was like... Humming and hawing and stalling. We're like, let's watch it on our new phones. And yeah. sure enough, perfect delivery. AT &T. And the most exciting thing, I typed in, because my phone still has that, um, you know, like when it guesses what you're going to say? Yeah, we'll What's that, that called? Yeah. So when I typed in dual, it came out soil. <laughs> which just used to be a problem because my friend's name is Nani. <laughs> Not a very common name. So whenever I type in Nani, it will change it to like Mama. But anywho. We'll sort that out. When I typed in days, March 11th, it came up our days talk from last year, March 11th. Hey, YouTube, not dumb. They put the good content at the top. It was exciting. Okay, we better dive in. <clears throat> days star of the day goes to Allison Sweeney. Yay. Good job. You won by seven points over Molly Burnett. She was looking good. Mm -hmm. She was all happy with Sydney in her arms. Uh, so, uh, Nicole's back for yeah. Christ's What are we, God. I thought maybe she might Jesus. win Bill Star of the Day just for returning. And because she did a good job. But, you know, she is looking pretty. She's a badass and she's drinking the um, Pruno that they make in the joint. Yeah, that's awesome. She is like going to be back alcoholic full on. What are they going to do with Chloe? They have Chloe still bonding with her. I'm telling you that one person that said that they think Chloe's going to adapt. Who, tell us who you are. The person that said that Chloe was going to adapt Nicole's real baby, the one that she supposedly miscarried. That would be awesome. When's Dr. Baker coming back? That's I think good. April 22nd. I think that's what I read. It's a Monday. Sammy and EJ just look so cozy and cute together oh, yeah. like they're a happily married couple. Oh, 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 but um, Ijana. Oh, Sodi. Big, big, big John is seen at the end. So I didn't quite hear exactly what he said, but he was. She said, "Oh, you're here," and he said, "I'm not Brady." And she's like, "That's not funny." But I didn't quite hear it. it. Must have been funnier than that. But they have some hot chemistry too. Oh God, I would love to see them together so, so much. Yeah, I want them to go up to that freaking little ski resort that everyone did. Did Brady and Ari go in the same freaking bed as uh, Stephanie and Ethan? I mean, did they even wash the sheets between the two? Oh my God, it was like, cause did, I know they're cutting down on sets, but that was a bit much. Yeah. So this the whole Maggie Daniel. Yeah, kudos to Maggie. You did a great acting job. I yeah. really felt like you were dying. Like you were sick and worried and just mega stressed out. So. Yeah, I don't know if I'd reach for a vase if I was having tremors, but you know, you just don't think. You know, you just go about your normal day. Um, I hope Suzanne Rogers isn't having any issues because her hand looked really like like they did the makeup well or something because it did look like it had a bruise on it. It looked ancient. Yeah. It oh, JB. It looked really wrinkly and. Uh, JB, <laughs> we. 
that Suzanne Rogers and looked her in the She's eyes. She's gorgeous. So nice. Yes. I can't say anything bad. We're about talking Suzanne. about the makeup here. What are you talk? What are you talking about? I don't want to talk bad about her. Okay. Hands. All right. I want to feel the love. Okay. No hate. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know what's gonna happen with Rafe and Sammy, but I love that when um, Ari told Melanie about the proposal. Oh yeah. She's like, what? Oh, her reaction. What? And Melanie's <laughs> like, damn, I kissed him. It's good. Why don't you want to marry him? That was some good stuff. So he's gonna propose again. Well, he said he reserved that a right. A day later? Yeah, My God, I thought it was you know, six months later or something. She's already told two people it was a mistake that she said no. Mm. And he knows that. Because chicks like to be engaged, and he's cute, so just try again. I love the teasing between Anna and, or Anna, as EJ says, um, be between her and EJ. Like, she keeps on... You love her. You know you love her. I know. And he's starting to be like, oh, maybe I do. Yeah, he looks very confused. Have you ever like been he's... confused about whether you love somebody? No. He's just floating around, kind of doesn't really have any direction. Here's my question of the day. We ask you guys all the time if you've experienced these storylines. And I love getting your remarks in the comment section. People talked the other day about um, if they'd ever been dumped for some other woman and then ended up marrying the guy in the end. It was these great comments. But what I want to know is, now I forget what the hell Have I'm you ever about. wondered whether you were in love? Or you oh, yeah. God, I just totally blanked. If yeah. you're wondering, you're not. Have you ever been in love like these movies? Like, you're in love so long and you have no idea. And then one day you're like, oh, I love, I mean, that's never happened to me. Damn. Maybe I'm smarter than that. Or if you have to think about the proposal. Yeah, I did not um, know about that. You mean I after was, the three hours of begging, you finally uh, <laughs> No, the three hours I spent begging you to give me the damn ring. Oh. Oh, you've had me on a rope for so long that week. Oh, God, speaking of rings, Melanie's wedding ring on the show. Oh. You know, there are ridiculous rings. Hers is beyond ridiculous. I'd I love know. to see that thing for real. Because <laughs> I know that they make them enormous, just like the regular rings. Even if they don't have a stone, they're like these... Hoops. Oh, I know, like when Austin and all them. I mean, <laughs> I think I could wear those like with a here. watch. <laughs> We're going to stop. All right, so what else? It seems like I had some interesting things to talk about during the show. But they've all left my brain now. <laughs> Daniel's doing a great job. I'm loving his whole, like, tenderness to Maggie. You know, he knows that Maggie's been like a mom to his kid. Now he loves her even more than he did before. You know who I feel sorry for? Chloe, your storyline is on life support. No, it's not, because she's going to go cuckoo. God, do something, she's please. Go I'm around getting the bed. bored. Cuckoo. I mean, I am falling asleep when you're on the screen. Have conjugal sex with Nicole in the prison or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I mean, I mean, Nicole's been in there for so long. I mean, well, Chloe probably looks know, good to her. Hell, she did Roman. I, I'd rather do Chloe than Roman if I was. I should hope so. No, if I was her. Oh. Be a lot more excited. All right, on another note, I think JB needs to Daniel up his look. And uh, I'll get the choker. I want to take the choker. Here, honey, men don't wear chokers. You know that, that little circle necklace mm. he wears with that black rope. Because if you're going to be Daniel's brother on the soap. I don't have a hairy chest, so. I can be Brady, yes. He should no, we'll, we'll cover you up. Okay. But I want you to wear, like, those button-on shirts, and I want Untouched. you to wash your hair a little bit, and I want you to pretend you're Daniel, honey. I love you. What Daniel's <laughs> brother, the psychiatrist? <laughs> yeah, you're Dr. J.V. Jonas. Yeah, J. And J. can J. I be on the show, too? Who do I get to be? Ask, ask the interwebs. Can I be a crazy patient that you have inappropriate relations with? Oh, now we're <laughs> going to the kinky side here. All right, we better wrap it up. We're at 10 minutes. <laughs> All right. The couple that watches days together. Days together. <laughs>